If you're having stomach or intestinal problems and nothing seems to work, there's a very good chance you're not broken. You're just treating the wrong part of your digestive system. And this one mistake keeps people stuck for years. They change their diets, they take supplements, they avoid certain foods, but they never really heal because they're aiming at the wrong tissue. So today I want to slow this down. I want to make it interactive and I want you to understand whether your symptoms are coming from your stomach or your intestines. Because once you know that, healing becomes clearer and a lot less frustrating. Let me make this interactive right away. I want you to pinpoint to where you feel your symptoms most right now. If your discomfort is higher up, burning, pressure, nausea, reflux, or raw, irritating feeling under your ribs, or in the upper center of your belly, that usually points to stomach. And if your discomfort is lower, bloating, gas, cramping, stool changes, urgency, constipation, or diarrhea, this usually points to the intestines. This simple distinction alone clears up more confusion than most people realize. Now here's where people get tripped up. They hear digestion and assume it's one long tube that heals the same way everywhere. But the stomach and the intestines are completely different tissues with completely different jobs. The stomach is a chemical blender. It uses acid and enzymes to break down food, especially protein. To protect itself from that acid, it relies on a thick mucus barrier, good blood flow, and healthy nerve signaling. And when that protective lining gets irritated, often from spicy foods, alcohol, coffee, stress, or certain medications, the lining becomes inflamed and nerves become hypersensitive. And that's gastritis. That's reflux. And that's why symptoms can feel intense even when tests look normal. It's not just acid. It's tissue irritation combined with nerve sensitivity. And the intestines are different. They're designed for absorption, immune regulation, interaction with bacteria. The intestinal lining renews itself constantly and needs the right fuel to stay strong. And when the intestines are irritated, people experience bloating after meals, gas, cramping, food sensitivities, and changes in bowel movements. That's a different problem and it needs a different approach. Now this is where a lot of people start taking the wrong thing. There is a very popular supplement that's commonly recommended for digestive problems, and it does help, but mainly for the intestines. And that supplement is called glutamine. Glutamine is an amino acid that acts as a primary fuel source for intestinal lining cells, especially in the small intestines. This is why glutamine can be very helpful for intestinal type symptoms like bloating, loose stools, irritation, maybe after antibiotics, or what people call leaky gut syndrome. It helps the intestinal lining regenerate and maintain its barrier. But here's the critical mistake. Glutamine does not directly heal an irritated stomach lining. It doesn't coat the stomach. It doesn't rebuild the stomach's protective mucus barrier. And for some people, especially those who are already stressed, it can even feel a little stimulating. So if you're dealing with burning, reflux, or stomach irritation from spicy foods, and you keep taking glutamine and wondering why nothing is improving, it's often because you're treating an intestinal problem when the real issue is in the stomach. Now let's talk about another amino acid that's very much relevant for stomach dominant problems, and that's glycine. And glycine is a major building block of collagen and the stomach lining and the tissue beneath it relies heavily on collagen-based repair. Glycine also has a calming effect for the nervous system. And this matters because stomach problems are strongly influenced by stress, that fight-or-flight physiology. And when the nervous system's overactive, blood flow to the stomach lining decreases and regulation changes and symptoms will generally feel worse. And this is why glycine is often better suited for stomach dominant problems like gastritis, reflux, burning, nausea, and irritation after spicy foods. It supports tissue repair and helps shift the body into a calmer, parasympathetic state where healing actually happens. Now this part is really important. I'm using glutamine and glycine as examples. 
not because they're the only options, there are many other ones, but this is because they clearly show how different tissues need different types of support. There are many ways to support the stomach and many ways to support the intestines, but the principles is always the same. You match the support to the tissue that's irritated. And when people do choose to use these, the timing matters more than the exact number. You see, people who have stomach-focused support is usually better tolerated later in the day or in the evening when the body naturally shifts into repair and recovery mode. Intestinal-focused support is usually taken earlier in the day and started gently. The goal is not to force healing with high doses, but to support the body consistently in the direction it's already trying to go. So let me make this even more practical so you know how to apply it to your own body. If your symptoms feel worse on an empty stomach, you wake up in the middle of the night, you feel that raw, irritated feeling after spicy foods, coffee or alcohol, think stomach first. That's when calming, coating, and repair focus support tends to work best. And if your symptoms show up after meals, especially with bloating, gas, pressure, or changes in bowel movements, think intestines first. That's when lining support and digestive tolerance becomes a priority. And if stress instantly makes everything worse, that's a sign the nervous system is heavily involved. And calming the system becomes just as important as anything you take. And here's the takeaway. Stomach problems and intestinal problems are not the same. And they shouldn't be treated the same. Most people don't need more supplements. They need better understanding. And that's what this video is all about. And when you know where the irritation is coming from, healing becomes simpler, calmer, and a lot far less frustrating. Most people aren't broken. They're just aiming at the wrong target. And once you understand that, you can finally give your body what it needs to recover. I hope that this video serves you well. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.